The learning objectives for TR-14 are understand the unit circle concept, know how trig function values are based on unit circle coordinates, determine the sine and cosine of quadrantal angles, understand why some trig functions are undefined for some angles, know the positive negative signs for sine and cosine for angles in different quadrants, know the first Pythagorean trig identity. Understand the arc length formulas for a unit circle. Well, first, what is a unit circle? It's a circle centered on the origin of the coordinate system with a radius of 1. Why don't we specify units of measure for a unit circle? For the Sokotoa ratios and the arc length formulas, the unit of measure of the radius will always cancel out with some other length so we draw the unit circle with no units at all. Consider an angle's point on the unit circle. The point has x and y coordinates, which is the sine and which is the cosine of the angle. The x-coordinate is the cosine and the y-coordinate is the sine. There were lots of alphabetical memory aids to help with this. What's the definition of tangent in terms of sine and cosine? You could derive this from Sokotoa or just memorize it. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is sine over cosine. What are the sine and cosine of these quadrantal angles? This should be easy because the coordinates are easy. The cosine is the x-coordinate and the sine is the y-coordinate. They'll always have a zero and a one that's either positive or negative. Just see the coordinates in your head. Horizontal x is cosine, vertical y is sine. Why would some trig functions be undefined at certain angles? Four of the ratios that describe trig functions have sine or cosine in their denominator, either of which will be zero for certain quadrantal angles. For example, cotangent and cosecant are undefined at angles where the sine is zero. The sine is the y-coordinate, which is zero at angles zero and pi radians and coterminal angles at the left and right edge of the circle. Tangent and secant are undefined at angles where the cosine is zero. The cosine is the x-coordinate, which is zero at pi over two, three pi over two, and coterminal angles at the top and bottom of the unit circle. In which quadrants is the cosine positive? Quadrants 1 and 4. Cosine is the x-coordinate. In which quadrants is the sine negative? Quadrants 3 and 4. Sine is the y-coordinate. Here's one that's tricky the first time you encounter it. In which quadrants is the tangent negative? Tangent is sine over cosine, so it's negative when the sine and cosine have opposite signs. So quadrant 2 where the cosine is negative and the sine is positive, and quadrant 4, where the cosine is positive and the sine is negative. What's an identity and what's the fundamental trig identity from the video? An identity is an equation that's always true for all variable values. The fundamental trig identity is derived straight from the unit circle with a the Pythagorean theorem. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Of course, this can be rewritten as cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. Same thing. These also imply that 1 minus sine squared theta equals cosine squared theta, and 1 minus cosine squared theta equals sine squared theta. These are all still the same equation written different ways, so please don't think that this is four things to memorize. Just know sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. On a unit circle, what angle subtends an arc length of 4 units? Since the radius is 1 unit, an arc length of 4 units means 4 radii, which in turn means 4 radians. Here's the equation, s equals theta r, so theta equals s divided by r. s divided by r is 4 over 1, which is 4 radians. When the radius is 1, arc length equals theta.
on a unit circle, what's the arc length subtended by an angle of x radians? Arc length equals theta times radius. Since the radius is 1, the arc length equals theta. So on a unit circle, the arc length subtended by an angle of x radians is x units. s equals theta r, and on a unit circle, r becomes 1, leaving s equals theta.